Can eating beans protect you from cancer? There's some great research saying that yes, indeed, that's true. And when we say beans, we mean beans of all sorts, chickpeas, uh, lentils, split peas. So there's a, there's a wide variety of beans to choose from. And basically what studies have looked at, they've looked at a few things. They've actually looked at just raw bean juice. Not that you can eat beans raw, but they, they did do that check. And then they also looked at sprouted beans and beans in a can. Beans in a can are super easy because they've uh, been boiled for you. So it uh, makes it very easy because beans take an incredibly long time to cook. And interestingly enough, the canned beans did the best in their ability to um, reduce the growth of cancer cells. And they looked at breast cancer, they looked at melanoma, they looked at kidney cancer. They also looked at protecting your brain cells. So it's not just about cancer, but actually brain cell protection as well. So beans are something uh, as typical Americans we don't tend to eat very much of. Uh, maybe if you occasionally have beans you say my goodness they give me gas and uh, that's something that your body will accommodate to relatively quickly but beans are a, an incredibly complex carbohydrate complex in a good way fruits and vegetables fall into that category as well uh, meaning it, it's you're slow to digest them and again if you're not used to eating them your body will take a little ramp up period uh, to get used to it but they're uh, loaded with antioxidants and they're loaded with anti-cancer properties and as i mentioned protection against brain cells so definitely look at ingesting more beans if you want to cook lentils they are very quick to cook one of my favorite are the are the red lentils or orange lentils they cook up very very quickly you can kind of throw them in almost anything and they're a great source of protein and as the research showed they're anti-cancer and they protect your brain so what's bad to say about that now you might have heard about some of the um, lectins associated with beans lectins are what um, a, a product of the ground so whether it's a bean or certain uh, vegetables they they produce lectins because it's a protective device of the plant against being consumed by animals pests so that's what lectins are. Now, when you, as soon as you cook a bean, the lectins are handled. And it's impossible to eat a raw bean. I mean, first of all, you'd break your teeth. But second of all, um, you know, you just couldn't chew a raw bean. And that's when the lectins are present. So those lectins that are sort of um, anti-nutrient properties, those are gone once the beans are boiled and properly cooked. So you really don't have to worry about those at all. And again, if you have a little gas, either keep eating them and get used to it. You can take, um, you can up your enzymes a little bit as your body adjusts, but beans are so very healthful. And uh, I really love this new research, so I wanted to share it with you. I hope you're having a great day. If your health is not the way you want it to be, please reach out. Here at Root Cause Medical, that's what we do. We get to the root cause of why your body's not functioning optimally, and we do it naturally for the most part. We're able to get you off medication by getting to the true root cause. So if your body's not functioning the way you like it to, reach out for a free consultation. The phone number here is 408-733-0400. You can also contact us on the website Root Cause Medical Clinics, that's with an S, dot com, and I'll see you soon.